tell there's more behind, but she's holding it back on purpose. And it makes us kind of sit on the edge of our seats. So da, 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 da. This is an example of a mix voice or a, a belting voice, a thicker voice that is on the lighter side. This is not a thick, belty voice. It's high and it's definitely not la, 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 la. Certainly not her head voice, but she is not like la, like it's not big and fat. It's a little bit more contained and restrained, but in tune and very nice and a flavor that many people would appeal to many people. She's great, she's great, she's great, she's great. So she's, yeah, this is, um, not the heaviest kind of mix or belt. And this is a great example, what she's doing. And she's skilled, I just wanna say that. Very skilled vocalist. Bending the pitch up like that. This is a very, uh, the technique she's using, the, the, the shape of the sound she's using is common in kind of that rock sound where they use all those high tones. I feel like I hear men men utilize this kind of mix more often than women, but I can see why this appeals to people. I can see why this feels mm, wild. Also love how unabashedly she drops her jaw. Like we've seen every molar, every tooth she has, and that's awesome. That means she's making space for the sound and her instrument is working well and she's unafraid of taking up space with her voice. It's great to see. I wish more singers would watch singers like her and take the cue when we want to make these bigger sounds. You can't do it with your jaw half shut. So yay. You hear this? We hold the note out, then we add the vibrato. This is a wonderful, uh, it's a wonderful thing to add when we add, it, it creates tension, right? We pull, 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 pull that tension and then we relieve the tension when we add the vibrato.